with uh, Kenya Kwanzaa as well as as Mio as well. Let's buckle down to the world of sports and uh, Jeff Mogiro is here also to Primus on what is up his collective sleeves. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning to you, Dibal. Yes. Not a good morning specifically we're going to talk about today. Mm -hmm. It's not been a good morning for so many Kenyans. Yet again, we've lost 1,500 meters mm. men's final. The last time Kenya lost was 2009. That is when we lost it completely. No, you didn't win a medal. But today, we didn't win any medal. So 11 years of dominance in the 1,500 meters for Kenya is over. Mm -mm -mm. It's done. You're waiting to see what happens. Mm -hmm. Last Olympics, Ingrid Bresson won it. Today, a Briton uh, citizen won it today. Athlete from Britain. And you lost it. Our very own Timothy Chirot finished number six, while Abel Kipsang finished number seven. Mm -hmm. That is a historical moment that we should look back and ask ourselves, where did the rain start beating us? Because in, tw in 2009, we lost it after Kenyans failed to shadow themselves, each other mm -hmm. to win it. Mm -hmm. Asbel Kiprop, Kiprop came mm -hmm. to the limelight mm -hmm. in 2011, winning it back to back 2011, 2013 and 2015. And, and in 20, in 20 uh, Asbel was also caught up in a scandal of doping uh, because he didn't give us his whereabouts. So we had another guy by the name Elijah Manangoi. Manangoi came in, won it in 2017. Timothy Shiro, you to finish number seven today, won it in 2019 in, 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 in Doha. So we are waiting to see how things pan out for Kenya. But it's not a good day because I think we were expecting a medal from here, which is not coming up. And also, we are expecting a medal from 5,000 meters, which might not as well add up, depending on the people on that list. So we are looking at 5,000 meters tonight. There's hits uh, for women. We have these people participating. Ellen O'Berry has refused that she's not going to take part in these 5,000 meters. And we are depending on her to give us this gold medal. Now we have Margaret Chalimo, who finished uh, number three in 10,000 meters. We have Beatrice Jebet, and we have Gloria Kite, who are Kenyans. Look at the other side of people who are competing here. Remember Sifana San? Mm -hmm. She lost 10,000 meters. She showed us dust in Doha, World Championships. In the Olympics, she showed us dust as well, 2020. This is what happens. She will be in this race. This is the only goal she's counting on. Mm -hmm. She can't afford to lose it. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, the lady who won 10,000 meters finals for women, mm -hmm. Lesbeth Gide, she is here again. Mm -hmm. 5,000. This is another, another, another medal for her when she's going to this champion in this event. Mm -hmm. Gudaf Sigay, Ethiopian as well, she's in this championship. This 5,000 meters uh, hit. Mm -hmm. So Ethiopians have four people. Probably they want two to qualify or three to qualify mm -hmm. to the finals because of that hits. So Kenyans are still in trouble. But again, you have another problem, just like in 3,000 meters. Mm -hmm. We have Caroline Chepkirui, who is running for Kazakhstan. Yesterday I told you about Nora Jeruto. Yes. It was going to give us trouble, probably a day after tomorrow, in the steeple chairs with yes. the finals. Mm -hmm. She will be another trouble for us. If she takes this position, then it means Kenyans will be having maybe one or two positions, mm -hmm. which will be difficult in the finals to win this. We need a three to shadow each other to get to the finals and finish it. Tonight also, at 3 a.m., we have 800 meters hits. Emmanuel Kareel, Wycliffe Kenyamal, and Noah Kibet. Noah Kibet, very young boy, in high school still, but he can help us win this. We had one by the name uh, uh, Wanyoni, but he didn't travel with the team. So probably we're counting on Emmanuel Kareel, who's training in the U.S., and also Wycliffe Kenyamal, who is training right here in the country. Uh, he's also training by the U.S., and Noah Kibet. These are the people are depending on mm -hmm. in this world championship. Probably people say uh, like uh, we might have the worst world championship, but it's still number three in the standing medal standings with uh, uh, six medals so far. Not really bad. <laughs> Not really bad, but uh, Ethiopians are ahead of us. That is what pains Kenyans more. Mm -mm. Mm. Why are they ahead of us? Yes. How best could they be? It's because we lost the marathons mm. both. We, didn't, we, we only won silver in the women, but in the men, we lost everything. Mm -hmm. So we should have been ahead of Ethiopians by now. So uh, let's, let's cross over to other events, 100 me 400 meters men's hurdles finals. We have Alison De Santos. Mm -hmm. He has won it from Brazil. His goal with 46.29 seconds. Mm -hmm. Then we had Rai Benjamin from the U.S. winning silver, and Trevor Basit from the, from the U.S. winning a bronze. And the women's high jump, yesterday we had uh, uh, Mutas uh, Barshim from, uh, from
from Qatar. But today we have another lady from, uh, from, from Australia. She's becoming the 10th Australian to win the high jump gold. Mm -hmm. Eliona Pat P Patterson. Mm -hmm. These uh, are the, the, the events I told you yesterday that uh, people from Europe decided they should have their own events, it's, which it's, they it's, can win medals. Yeah, it's a piece of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're waiting to see how 5,800 meters turns up. But for 1,500 meters, <coughs> it's clearly me. a shame for the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also, people are questioning which kind of team did we select. But in this team, they were the best. Abel Kipsang is the best of the best, is the fastest, by the way, this season. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why did he finish number seven. Timothy Sherriot, he was a world champion. He was going to, to, defend, to, to defend his title. Mm -hmm. how, it, how it happened that he didn't really finish even among top three, it doesn't really add up. And also now, uh, this sends a very big uh, warning to Athletics Kenya, the Ministry of Sports, to rethink about the structure of getting athletes to face off and bring a new one on board. The new one, that means, you go back to Iten, Nandi, Kisi, wherever you can go across the country, find out these talents, both in high school and primary school, grow them in that structure, so that by the time we're in the World Championship, we get to perform better. Mm -hmm. Steeple chase was a race made f in Kenya for Kenyans anyway. And everybody, even the world knows that Kenya mm -hmm. has dominated for 46 years. But today, we're not winning it anymore. Mm. What happened? Ezekiel Kimboi walked away from the stage with a glorious moment. His son is trying to come up. But before his son comes, comes up, who can do better to give us these medals? That we are losing the world championship. By now, Kenya should be number two or probably fighting with the U.S. Mm -hmm. which are always number one because they have many events happening. Mm. But they're number three to the good position for Kenya. Because if any other country wins another medal, one or two, they will be ahead of us. Indeed. Indeed. Thank you, Jeff. But it's not all uh, gloom and doom.